Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin' where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So this is going to be a fun video about pop-up camping with dogs. Um, or cats, but mainly dogs because this is all dog stuff. So if you bring cats pop-up camping, some of this might be applicable, but maybe not. Maybe not like the, like the Shankzillas or something like that. But <laughs> <laughs> anyways, this is going to be a fun video. We're going to tell you what we bring pop-up camping specifically for our dogs and then we're going to also show you um, kind of their sleeping setup or sleeping arrangement that we've devised for our dogs. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that we're going to go over is just this Overland gear, dog gear bag. And so this is where we keep all of the stuff for our dogs when we go pop-up camping. Our dogs go nuts when they see this uh, bag come out. Uh, our one dog just cannot control himself when he sees this come out. And so this has a bunch of really nice compartments in it. It has a place in the front for all of our collapsible bowls. It has some nice side pockets. It has a uh, treat pouch on the top, a nice mesh pouch. And it has a divider actually in the inside, in the middle to be able to keep all of our stuff organized. So the first thing I'll show you is, of course, we always have uh, our leashes. And so um, we have a leash for each one of our dogs. This is just a short, I think it's a four foot, four foot. Leash, yep. leash. And so this is for if we want to take the dogs out on a walk, on a hike when we're camping. And it actually has this nice uh, short grip handle. So that way, uh, if we come into a situation where we need to get the dogs uh, a little bit more under control or something like that, if we're uh, hiking near somebody on a trail and you know they're a little bit intimidated by our big German Shepherd, we can uh, pull the dogs in a little bit on that. And on this, we also, of course, have our uh, poop bags because we're responsible dog owners. We have uh, a few of the, more of those in the front of the bag here in this little mesh pocket, just in case uh, we need them when we're camping. So to go along with that, we have our uh, harnesses for each one of our dogs. And so this is a travel harness. This is specifically designed for being worn in the car and being attached to a seat belt. And this keeps our dogs uh, safe when we're traveling. Uh, we always make sure that our dogs are clipped into a seat belt for heaven forbid if we ever get into a car accident when we're doing anything with our dogs, be it camping or just general traveling, they always are wearing these harnesses. So we have one of those for each one of the dogs. Of course, size specific. These are Kurgo harnesses, uh, but you know, pretty much any brand that's rated for travel and for seatbelt safety, you know, uh, that will work for your dogs. They're super hairy. Yeah, they're really hairy. Uh, our dogs shed a ton while we are traveling with them. So, uh, of course, we always bring a slicker brush with us. This is might not seem like a really important thing to have when, with you when you're pop-up camping or traveling with your dogs, but this is really essential because we have long-haired dogs and it always seems like our husky is getting into something when we're traveling. <laughs> and so uh, this is just really nice for pulling burdocks out. There's actually like some burdocks stuck in there right now. Uh, so we always make sure that we have this with us when we are traveling with the dogs. And the leashes are Primo Pet brand. We got those off of Amazon, right? Yes. Okay. So to go along with the travel gear for our dogs, we also have these really cool light up collars. And so they're probably a little bit hard to see. Uh, I'll flip it on here. Uh, yeah, here, if we flip off the light, you can see uh, we have this blue one for our German Shepherd and then the pink one for the Husky. And so they go through, you know, they have the blinking, like a fast blink, a slow blink, and then a solid. And so we also, we have those. And then we also have um, these collar lights. And so the collar lights are made by Mighty Paw. And so this, you can just do a solid, you can do a fast blink, you can do a slow blink and off. And these just attach uh, right to your dog's collar. And we really enjoy having those along with us when we pop up camp because it allows us to see our dogs at night uh, when they're at the campsite. And it allows us to see them when we hook them up to 
uh, these cable leads. And so we have cable leads for each one of our dogs. Uh, I'm not sure the length on these. It's probably 20 or 30 feet. Yeah, we never allow our dogs to have more than 10 feet while we're camping. Uh, we've been looking into getting something a little bit shorter, but this just happens to be what we have. Um, and we keep them organized. This is a... What extension a cord, cord yes. uh, organizer. Extension cord organizer. And it works really well for keeping this nice and organized when we're traveling. And so we have these and we always hook it up maybe around a tree or something mm -hmm. like that. There are stakes that you can buy to put it in the ground. We just feel more comfortable with our dogs being such big dogs, uh, just hooking them up to a tree and making sure that they can access the camper, but also uh, not get into the wooded areas where they can get full of burdocks. So we always have those with us as well. That's sort of the general travel stuff. We also have these halty um, uh, gentle leaders. And so this is a head harness uh, that's worn around the dog's uh, muzzle. And so this gives us really great control over uh, our dog's heads while we're out for a walk. It's really great for a dog who maybe is pulling or something like that. But we like to use this when we walk around the campgrounds because again, we have a big German Shepherd who looks <laughs> really scary, but is not. And so uh, people just feel a little bit more comfortable. You know, when we have these uh, on our dogs, we can get a little bit better control if uh, he does get a little too quitsy. So that's sort of the general, uh, I don't know, dog accessories that we bring along with us when we pop up camp. So moving along to some things that are like really essential, this is not necessarily pop-up camping specific, but just any sort of travel with our dogs. So we have these bowls from Mighty Paw and they are these pop-up silicone bowls. We use them uh, for water, we use them for food, really anything uh, that the dogs need. We have quite a few of these that we use when we're camping and they're really nice because they're dishwasher safe. So we can throw them in the dishwasher after we've been camping for a while. And then they also fold up really nice and flat. And so they have this carabiner on them if you wanna clip them to your belt loop while you're out for a hike or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, these are really nice to be able to bring a little bit of uh, water along for your dog and not have to have them like try and drink out of a water bottle mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're walking with them on a hike. So let's see, the next thing that we have, uh, this is a food compartment for our dogs. And this came with the Overland Gear uh, Pet Duffel. And so it came with two of these. And we usually have to fill up both of them for a weekend camping trip. So this is where we uh, put all of their dry food. And then we have a nice little measuring cup inside of there. But just generally, you know, we bring along at least enough food for an additional day when we go camping. Because you never really know. You might get stuck somewhere. And so we always make sure to have a little bit extra with us. Uh, so... If our dogs had a say in things, they would say that this is the most essential <laughs> item to have when we go pop-up camping, and that's these Shankzilla Bones by the Stash Treat Company. And this is something that our dogs only ever get when we go pop-up camping. But uh, these are really great for keeping the dogs occupied when we're just hanging out at the campsite or on a fire or something like that. You know, it just gives them something to do, and it's a little special treat that they always know that they're going to get when we go pop-up camping, so uh, it makes things a little bit more exciting because sometimes pop-up camping can be overwhelming for a dog, and so this is something that they always are excited to get and, you know, kind of helps them calm down a little bit, and of course, we always have two with us, one for each dog, even <laughs> though our husky always steals from the German Shepherd, which you wouldn't think as possible but uh, she always does okay so the last thing that we have in our bag is our canine med kit and we have this along just in case we run into any emergencies and so inside we have an instant cold pack uh, we have some dip and hydramine so this is just over-the-counter Benadryl um, Make sure that you talk to your vet before you give your dogs any sort of uh, medications that are not prescribed to them. Uh, so we have these butterfly closure bandages and then also just some uh, general waterproof tape. We have the Coflex adhesive bandage. So this is just a bandage that sticks to itself, also called vet wrap. We have saline solution for washing out wounds and eyes. We have triple antibiotic for just general cuts and abrasions. And then the rest, oh, here we go. We have the, um, just a syringe for that saline solution. And then also a uh, tweezers, just in case. And then the last stuff that we have in here is all bleed control. So we have large gauze pads. These are four inch gauze pads. 
we have actually some women's pads for a really heavy bleed. And then we also have these surgical dressings. And finally, we have some gauze, and this gauze can actually double to be used as a muzzle in case your dog is in a lot of pain and becomes uh, a little bit bitey. So as far as kind of the sleeping setup we have for the dogs, like um, we said earlier, our dogs are crate trained. And so at home, they're always in, um, we kind of have a, a kennel set up that's attached to their crate. So they have not only their crate, but then what, like a four by four yeah. kennel area, each <laughs> of them. So they're used to going in their kennel slash crate at night. So we also have travel crates for them, which are what, four foot by two foot? Yeah, I think these are 42 inch crates. Something like that. They're either the large or extra large. So we have two of them and they actually fit side by side on the bunk end. Um, this and is a queen bunk yeah, end? Yeah, on the queen bunk end. So if you have similar sized dogs and a similar sized bunk end, um, that might work for you as well. It does press up a little bit on the canvas, but not bad. It, it's not like it's not going to tear it or anything, but uh, those uh, those fit well there. So at night, or even when we are are out and about, if we have to, I don't know, run to the bathroom or go and get some firewood quick, we can throw the dogs in the crates, um, and then that way we know they're not going to be chewing on uh, the, I don't know, whatever, the door. I've seen horror <laughs> stories about dogs chewing on doors to like get out. So that we know, that way we know they're gonna behave um, and that's some place they feel comfortable because that's what they're used to at night. So that's why we use the crates. Now what we did under the crates, and we'll show you this um, a little bit more close up, is we used some of the kind of what is that foam interlocking um, tiles? Tiles, yeah, mm -hmm. that are I think they're what two foot by two foot yep. tiles, and we bought how many packs of those? Uh, three, I Th think three. three or four. It'll depend on your bunk end size as far as how many of those tiles you'll need, but um, we bought enough to cover almost all of it. Probably ninety five percent of our bunk end. It didn't pay to buy another pack just to get that six inch strip mm -hmm. at the at the end. But um, that way it kind of uh, provided a little bit more insulation for the dogs if it's hot or cold. And it prevented our, um, the wood on the bunk end from getting scratched up by the crates. So kind of a double benefit um, to having that. And we also put that under our bunk end too, mm -hmm. just for the extra cushion, insulation, et cetera. So it's uh, just a nice thing to have all around, even if uh, you don't have dogs um, set up on your bunk ends. Now, if we bring, if we have like a friend or family member or a couple people coming camping with us um, who are going to need to sleep at, on that bunk end, we'll bring our mattress in from, from storage and then we've um, set up the crates on this table where we're talking to you at right now. And um, I highly recommend putting something over... Um, not only your table, but your um, benches, just to protect that um, from um, scratching any paint or countertop or whatever, um, because inevitably the dogs will move around and those crates will, will move and you might get scratches, kind of like we have a little bit on our table. So whether it's, I don't know, more of the tiles or blankets or towels or something, highly recommend doing that. So that's a dog sleeping situation. I think sort of just like the general rule is the more you can make the experience like what they're used to at home, sort of the better. It makes it a little bit more comfortable for your dogs. And I think it's really helped our dogs to have that crate because I mean, they immediately come in here and they're like, oh, crate. And they both jump right in the crates uh, <laughs> unless they're up on our bunk end uh, trying to get into our bed. But for the most part, they just come in, they see those crates and they know that that's really like a space that they feel safe in. And so uh, even when they're outside, sometimes they'll beg to come into the camper and just hang out for when a When it's really bit. hot out. They'll yeah. want to come in the air conditioning. So. Yes, uh, they're they're both wimps, <laughs> so they uh, they enjoy spending time in the camper. But you know, you want to make the experience really as enjoyable for your dogs as it is for you. And this is just some of the stuff that we do to try and uh, make our dogs feel a little bit more at home in our pop up. So if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like 
it actually apparently it helps us grow as a small YouTube channel. And um, also, you know, if you enjoy any of our pop-up camping videos or find value in them, uh, please consider subscribing. And if there's anything that you think that we missed uh, in our video or anything that you guys take pop-up camping specifically for your dogs, let us know in the comments because we'd love to be able to add more things to our repertoire to make our dogs a little bit more comfortable when we go camping. <laughs>